there should be a dedicated section on the plane for families with children. Families with children should have their own section on the plane, ideally next to the bathroom in case of incidents. Let the kids play with each other and maybe the mothers with infants on their lap may start to appreciate just how annoying it is to sit next to other parents with kids that are not their own. Who's with me? You have to think the opposite way when you consider capitalism. This means instead, they'll charge $100 extra for a seat away from babies and call it premium tranquility or some shit. I have a two-year-old and I am actually in favor of this not because we have to be sequestered from other people or anything like that, but just because I know the other people in my section understand what it's like to have a toddler. Toddlers can become completely inconsolable at times especially on airplanes, and I could stress less if I knew everyone around me understood what it's like to try your hardest and failing to stop them from crying slash screaming. I don't know how feasible it is but this would be so great. One time I had a 5 hour flight and this kid kept kicking the back of my seat. It sounds good in theory, but it would require that a plane is filled with the perfect percentage of families with kids, and non-children, and that will simply never happen. You'll either have one or two families that don't fit in the section and those kids get left out from all the other kids, which is a huge bummer for a kid or there will be a couple regular passengers who will be stuck in the section that's completely filled with screaming kids, a fate worse than death, I agree, but should there also be a dedicated space for families with children in the cinema? I'm sure it's been said, but to add my two cents I was on a five-hour flight for which was an emergency and I was very ill-prepared, with a toddler. He cried for 75 hours of that fucking flight, and wore himself out and slept for the last 15 minutes. I broke down and started crying, I was so fucking upset that everyone had to hear him crying the whole flight. I felt like a real asshole. I hated every minute of it and I would not wish any other person to have to deal with that, but especially the parents of that kid. Because as a parent not being able to help the kid, that's a real shitty feeling. Families with children in the single digits should be placed in a soundproof section so nobody can hear the babies cry. I just got off an awful red eye flight yesterday where there were two toddlers screaming the whole time. The parents didn't do anything and I wanted to bash my head in. I fly every other week on Southwest for work, so lots of kids. I've honestly never had an issue with them being loud. Only once I had an issue with the a kid kicking the back of my chair and pulling my hair. Headphones block out most noise. I am a parent and I agree. The last thing I want is for my fussing kid to annoy the shit out of someone else or make it so they can't nap on a flight where they may have really needed that nap. That being said. Most everyone in their lifetime will encounter annoying children and we all need to learn how to come to terms with it, and move on. Life and conveniences get interrupted in any number of ways, loud kids is just another. And I say this as someone with two very loud kids that I'm constantly having to remind to use their inside voices. My five-year-old can be all the way in the backyard and I can hear him across the other side of the house in the living room near the front yard, while the TV is on. It sucks. It annoys me just as much as it annoys everyone else. And I listen to it all the fucking time. But you know, I can only do what I can do which is remind and remind and remind them to use proper volume. Adults need space to be adults yes. But kids also need some space to be kids. It's a balance. I honestly don't think this is an unpopular opinion. Parents that fly with children would probably love this idea also, but there are so many reasons why this isn't a thing and it will never be a thing. There is. It's called coach. Same with restaurants. They should have a whole fucking plane. Was on my flight to Australia, directly across from the bathroom, drunk and hadn't slept in 21 hours when a little girl was running to the bathroom but stopped and bent over heaving right beside my seat. I caught her vomit in my beer cup. While I don't think this is a bad idea, I know from experience when one baby hears another cry they are more likely to cry too, so now you'll have two or more babies crying. So that's just something to think about. For real, aside from the whiny ugh there's a baby on this plane people, 
traveling is boring and stressful for kids, and hectic and debilitating for parents. This kind of accommodation would open up a world of opportunity for kids and their families. Maybe offer extra reward miles slash points slash Disneyland tickets etc. To families that volunteer to travel on family section flights. Flights that are 50% or more filled W other families W kids. Play cartoons, in cabin clown making balloon animals etc. Anything to keep them from kicking the back of my seat loudly crying face rolling on the floor laughing. That's a great idea. Traveling with like other mothers slash fathers with similar issues would allow us to work together to keep our kids busy. Traveling has never been an issue when the travelers around me and my son knew the experience and were supportive. They sucked with you have someone next to you that thinks all kids are monsters and can't even make eye contact. I assure you, no one is more stressed out by the kid crying and being loud than the parent accompanying them. Imagine being just as tired and annoyed as you are, and having to be the one trying to defuse the situation, all while getting all the judgmental stares. I don't fly with my kids unless I absolutely have to, and when I do, I would welcome being seated with other parents who understand the struggle, out of view of the dirty looks. When my kids were small I would have loved this. It's stressful flying with kids. We used to fly all the time. Now we just drive. Who comes onto a plane for a luxury experience anyways? Just take me to Florida. I agree with this, it would be great to be seated away from judgmental assholes who have never had kids and think they would be better parents. I think one of the rudest thing I've ever seen on a plane is a man just sat in another chair because he wanted to be next to his wife and baby. The rightful owner of the chair comes in looks confused and the husband says oh your chair's over there since I need to be with my wife and it was a seat further back. Like way further back. The guy looks at the situation and says okay. Walks back and just takes the L because he knows that if he were to speak up he would look like an asshole. 